Hey guys, uh, today is the day that I'll be doing the video. That's great wording. I'm cool. Uh, what month is this? Gosh, I think this is April. The April month. Uh, is that's what the video we're doing right now. Um, you could probably tell I didn't prepare to make this video because I totally write scripts for every single one of my videos. He lied. Um, I don't actually have this m much this month and the reason why this is being filmed kind of strange and is probably going to be a few edits is I'm filming this video not at the it's we still have a little while until the end of April but I'm not expecting to get anything so there might be cuts uh, in the middle of segments that showing me getting something else and if there is awesome if there isn't awesome less editing on my part um, yeah and we're gonna probably start remember the last few months there's been like no anime well, this month, I think I can safely say that this has the most anime I've gotten in two months. But if you look at my two videos, which I totally go recommend watching, um, there was like one a month. So, two months, two pieces. I have more than two? Uh, yes. So, uh, <laughs> let's start with manga, actually, first. And the reason why I want to start with the manga is because I actually only got one series. Um... I think. As I said, there might be a cut. If there's a cut, then I lied. But, I'm trying to get these all organized. That series is... Fairy Tale! Um, Fairy Tale, oh, I'm going to show you hopefully volume by volume, is a shonen series that uh, I think a lot of people know of. I actually filmed a review of this. If you would like to see my volume 1 review, you can post in the comments. I, I didn't like how it turned out. That's why it hasn't been posted. But, if you'd like to see it, I guess I could throw it up. Uh, right at the bottom here, it's done by the creator of Rave Master. But the creator has also done another little manga. Oh, that's volume 5. I know how to count very well. Uh, volume 2 is the one I'm on. But um, the creator also made a little series called Monster Hunter Orge. Uh, there was four volumes. That's another thing he did. It's actually Monster Hunter, the game, but it's manga, so it's kind of cool. Uh, and I know he's done a few other little things, but this is the series that's made him famous. Now, before you go, wait, isn't that the guy who made One Piece? No, it's not the guy who made One Piece. I thought it was when I very, 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 very first heard about this manga. Uh, I keep showing you volume five. Uh, when I very, very first heard about this manga, I thought it was done by the guy who did One Piece. I swore up and down by it, but it's not, not at all. Uh, the guy does, I think he has admitted that he does you know, he borrowed some of the concept ideas from it, but if you look at his older work, it looks the same. So, whatever. Uh, this series is basically about uh, magic... I show you volume 5 again. Oh, well. It's like about a magic clan who... There's different uh, guilds, and there's the fairy tale, and it's about a girl who joins a new guild, Lucy, right there. Uh, she joins a new guild, and it's their adventures throughout the guild. Um... I think the weird part about this series really is that Fairy Tale is a series where your main character is the only piece of fan, uh, fan service, and she's like the main character. It's really weird. I don't know why I find it really weird, but I do. Uh, it's a great series so far. I'm only in volume two, and I've seen the first 12 episodes. I've heard the manga has gotten really bad lately, um, but I wanted to try it. They've been re-released, so you can get these cheap now. Uh, my only issue is some of them got a little dinged up when I got them through the mail, naturally. But um, from what I've read, I I'm liking it. And I don't think it's gonna disappoint me, I don't think, these first five volumes. Now, that was pretty much the manga I got. Uh, as I said, there might be a cut right here. If there was no cut, then we're good. Um, the next we'll do the, the manga, I think. Yeah, we'll leave video games last. Manga, God, I'm good at words. Uh, I mean anime. We'll do the anime next. And most of it is shonen, to be honest with you. Um, good chunk of it is. We'll start with this one. I think I posted up a review of this, but I've made it so it's hidden because it, it, it got messed up, and admittedly. If you'd like to see it, I'll, you, know, you can write in the comments see what uh, I thought about it. I might make it viewable again. I think the, f you know, early viewers of my stuff uh, saw it, but I, I've hit it now, and that is uh, Naruto. This is the first collection of Naruto, the 
Well, not the recollection. Basically, they made collections where there were 12 episodes, and now this is the 24, 25 episode collections. And this is volume one, which is the first 25 episodes. I watched it in Japanese, I explained this in the video, but I watched this in Japanese because, in my opinion, the dub is really bad. Um, I'm not usually like one of those people, but in my opinion, it's pretty bad. Um, for example, the whole believe it thing is only said in this whole 25 episode box set in Japanese twice. That should tell you something if you know anything about Naruto. But um, I really liked it. I bought uh, box set two's coming, which completes season one, so it's coming. I read a bit of the manga, so I know uh, this ends at the uh, Chenning Choning. I don't know the the test exams, and I know in the test exams a certain character, uh, the enemy of the show appears. So that'll be cool to see, and I'm looking forward to it. To be honest with you. Now before I continue, I just want to say there's a chance my voice might kind of. <coughs> I don't know why, but it, it's been doing this lately. <laughs> so the next two things is actually the currently the show I'm watching. Um, by the way, I finished that Naruto box set. I'm not sure I actually made that clear, but it, I did finish it. But the next two box sets is a show I love. I love it so much, and I believe it's one of the best shonen series ever. And if you know me, you're gonna know what it is. And that is One Piece Collection Six and One Piece Collection Seven. Uh, this is. Episodes, I can try to tell you here. Episodes 131 to 156, and episodes 157 to 182. Uh, which I couldn't tell you what those actually go through. Uh, or I really don't know, to be honest. I should put that there when I'm talking. I really, really don't know what this will go through. Um, basically, the last box had finished the um, uh, Alabasta arc, which I wasn't a huge fan of, but when it was done I was happy. My issue now with the series is they're trying to grab something interesting and it's not happening so far. The latest arc we're in is the um, Rainbow Mist arc. Uh, if you don't know, if I'm saying these arcs wrong, I explained in another video that when I call an arc just a story line. So I know it sounds correct, but I sometimes overdo it. Uh, <laughs> If that makes any sense but um so far I've only seen about the first two discs I'm on the second disc of uh, uh, collection six and really liking it one piece is fucking amazing um, you know me being you know started old school in the sense of you know Dragon Ball Sailor Moon um, what's that other one Pokemon <laughs> uh, you know and then moving up to stuff like Naruto and One Piece and Bleach, which truthfully I haven't watched the Bleach anime yet. But uh, here's a here's a bit of a little hint that might be something coming up. Um, but One Piece is amazing. Storyline is amazing. I hear people say you have to get through the first 50 episodes before it gets good, and I think that's retarded. I think it's all good. It might be a little bit slower, but what anime isn't slow at the start? Um, that runs for over you know 500 episodes. Uh, you know, really like it. Better than Naruto? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course it is. It's really good. But Naruto in Japanese is good. It, it has its moments. Um, the next show I actually finished. Now this is probably the longest watched show of mine. This is the very first anime I watched knowing about anime, if that makes sense. And I finished it, like, last week. So that should really tell you how you know, how long I've been watching this, in the sense of it took. And I actually did a review of this, which is up on my channel. If you'd like to go see it, I recommend go see, to go to see it. Uh, there, I have a whole whole rant about the end of it, but that is Soul Eater. This is the collect oh, the complete collection version. Uh, contains 1 to 51, which is the complete show. Two seasons, four seasons, I don't know how you want to call a season. Uh, what I'm going to do is I can put my mouse right there. That works out a little bit. Um, really, really good. Uh, truthfully, the last almost 12 episodes is made up filler. Uh, the manga is still going, if you don't know. Meaning the ending that they did was made up. Um, I don't want to rant on it too much. There's a pretty big spoiler about the show. I'm not going to get into here. That's why I made a separate video so you can go watch it. But I talk about why the ending, in my opinion, 
is bullshit um, and how the first half is is great uh, so I'm not gonna talk about any more on this please go watch the video and you can really see why the ending of the show pissed me off but it's a great show <laughs> if that makes any sense now the next two truth that I haven't seen yet I got them yesterday yesterday two days ago sorry um, at a uh, uh, recycling like pawn kind of shop. It's hard to explain, but I found them there. And one of them is a movie I really, really wanted to see, and that is Paprika. Um, I've seen Perfect Blue, and I enjoyed it. You know, um, not for everybody. I know it's not for everybody, but uh, and done by the guy who did Tokyo Godfather. Now the guy's name was Satoshi Khan. I probably butchered that. I'm not sure. But he helped, now this I'm probably wrong about, but I believed he helped do Serial Experiments Lane. Now, probably someone in the comments is going to correct me on that, because I, I kind of believe I'm wrong on that, but I think he had involvement. Actually, you know what? Give me one second. I can confirm this. I have, I own the original uh, Genion series, and I can probably, can I confirm it? I'm looking at it right now. Uh, is his name on here at all? Director? No, 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 no. Then why did I think he helped on this? Oh well, I lied, but... He he does the same thing like Serial Experiments Land in the sense of how it's psychologically messed up. Uh, and he's... He is dead now. Uh, which, you know, f from things I've seen, it's a, it's a shame because he had a movie that he was working on and apparently it's on hiatus, the movie. They haven't cancelled it, I think. And it's called, like, Dream Magic Girl or something? I, I don't know. If you search up Satoshi... Satoshi Khan, uh, and look up latest film, there's artwork and everything for it. And it looked... It looked like, you know, one of his movies, and it's a shame we aren't able to see it. But, um... I might make a review of this. Um... I probably will. Why not, right? Uh, you know, talk in front of a camera for three seconds and throw it on the internet see what happens. We'll see. Now the next one I picked up because why not really when you got it for two dollars? Um, yeah. Truthfully, I haven't seen one of the one of these movies in the film series since I saw the first one and I saw the third one. I think I see the second one. So I've seen the first three, uh, and the third one I didn't like. And this is like they've up, they're up to like 16 now. And that is Pokemon the movie, Jarachi Wishmaker. You got to excuse me on that because I haven't really Pokemon anything now. I think this Pokemon Generation is Ruby and Sapphire. I think. So what? That would be. Third? Pokemon, Gold, Sapphire. I'm going with third. I, I don't know if that's correct. Um, and I really stopped playing after Gold. Truthfully, I'm not going to lie, I do own Pokemon White 2. Um, because I had money and I'm like, I, I want to play a new Pokemon game. And I put a lot of time into it. Didn't get anywhere near beating it. I don't know. So it's, it's also the same. I think everyone knows that. They keep on, they had, what, it's like 500, 600, 1,000 Pokemon now? That 150, great. But when they did the 250 or whatever the second generation is, fucking beautiful. Well, now, truthfully, that was reasoning because there was more than 150 Pokemon originally made. Uh, I think the first two generations were actually technically made on generation one. Um, but they had cut them out. Not all of them were made, but a good chunk of them were made. So that's why they felt really good. And then the rest of them, it was just no. But I haven't seen it yet. I don't think I'll make a video on this. Unless someone in the comments would like to see my opinion on that. Then, you know, go ahead, write in the comments, say, yeah, please do a Pokemon thing. Um, I don't expect this being anything special. It is an hour 20, so it's a full-length feature film. So, why not? I'll, I'll watch it. We'll see what happens. Uh, then we got one more thing in anime, I think. I'm taking a quick look around my room. I don't think I'm missing anything. Um, and that is... I've only watched the first two? 
two episodes. And then it's Kaya Ragtime Show, the complete series. Okay, let me explain real fast why I bought this. This is the save edition. Um, as you can see, save edition. This is done by the people who did Fate Stay Zero. Uh, when I mean by people, I mean like the animators, and that is UFO Table. Or UFO Table, or whatever they want to call themselves. So I knew the animation was going to be great. Only issue is this was done in 2006, and the other stuff was done like 2009 or whatever. So you know, there's a pretty big time. The animation's decent, very, very decent, almost very, very good, but I want to say very decent because almost the entire time they always have this bloom, this awful bloom, like Left 4 Dead bloom, or sorry, Left 4 Dead 2 bloom, and it's just bad looking. Like, it makes it look more dated. For a sense of a uh, Serial Experiments Lane has a really weird bloom effect, which makes it look older than it really is. Um, which they fixed in the Blu-ray cuts, but that kind of makes it look bad. Uh, it's hard to explain, but this is coming from someone who's only seen the first two episodes. And the reason why I bought it, let me actually get to that, is that the trailer. My god, the trailer. If you can find the trailer, preferably the one that came on uh, Funimation DVDs, uh, but if you can find it good, I swear they're reading off the One Piece um, trailer list or trailer script because they're like, uh, blah blah blah, King of the Pirates has has all his treasure hidden in one spot, and he tells everyone to go and find it. And I'm like, like the it's almost line for line. So I'm like, I don't know what this is. I guess needs. Sorry about that. I don't know what this is. But I gotta check it out. And it's like, you can get it for under 15 bucks. It's a save edition, 13 episodes, or 12 episodes. So it's really, really cheap. And it didn't have, the first two episodes hasn't really hooked me in. Uh, will I finish it? Eventually. Uh, this was the, on the next to do, and then it moved to One Piece. And I had to put things all away, like Inuyasha. The, uh, Inuyasha Season 2 right now has been put to the side because. Well, I don't really get into Inuyasha and One Piece. Both great, but... I wanted to watch One Piece. <laughs> ah, it's not really a rant, but it's, you know... It's preferring. Because I know there, there's a viewer on here, I think. Who talked about uh, Inuyasha the other day. And I like it. I really do. Um, but it's, you know... I want to watch my One Piece, if that makes any sense. Same as how Dragon Ball is great, but I want to watch my One Piece. Now, this is the, uh, the next thing, sorry, ranting on about things. The next thing is the video games. Now, as I said, right here, there will be a cut right about here, if I missed anything. If you're hearing me talking right now, either we already cut and we're back, or we never cut and we're gonna talk about video games. Um, now I say it once, I'll say it again, I believe these are the games of this month. For some reason, the one game here, I, th I kinda think I got it last month, but I'm not sure. So if, if you've already seen it, I apologize, um, but oh well. And that is a game that I actually beat, and I also have the Collector 10, so I have a video of this, it's a video review about how I felt about the game, and that is Assassin's Creed Trez. Because I'm French or Mexican. Ah, that's a shame. Okay, so... This is Assassin's Creed 3. And this is the Assassin's Creed 3 Collector's Tin. Now, I got this because I pre-ordered the game on Xbox. A long time ago. And when the game came out, I didn't buy it. Because I heard about the Wii U version. And I wanted to get a Wii U. So I got a Wii U. And then I still didn't buy it. And it was a very long time until I got it. Now, once I have it, and I played it, and I beat it, I liked it. I'm not going to rant about this game here. It's not really a rant, uh, but it's more just, I'm not going to get into detail, because I made a separate video, and if you'd like to see, it's there. But I'll, I'll show you the Collector Tin insides. Uh, I've actually moved everything, so yes, the Wii U version does fit in this Collector Tin, if you were interested, I don't know why. Um, but, you know, it's... It's a, it's always a good game. I, I enjoyed myself with it. Do I think it's the greatest Assassin's Creed game? No. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> uh, so, the next two, 
I'll just show you one at a time, but the next two games anyways, I got the same day, I just happened to, by chance to be able to go to a game shop, and I, I had to pick something up, and these were in the bargain bin. Uh, one was five dollars, one was fifteen. The one I still have to play, I only played a bit of the multiplayer, but I really gotta play the game. Uh, and I know right when I said multiplayer, half of you just went, it's gonna be Call of Duty or Halo. Uh, no, don't be a fool. Uh, even when, sadly, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> but, this game I gotta play the single player. I know, I already know the ending. It's sad that people spoiled it. People spoil things, it sucks, but... And it's Portal 2! Beat Portal 1, um, back when it was on the... What is it? What was it on? The Orange Box Collection. Uh, and I was aware of it, same as all the Half-Life games. I've been aware of them, but I, I wanted to play them. I just didn't really want to play them on PC, because my PC isn't great. It's not bad, but it's, well, it's pretty bad. <laughs> but it's not good, but, you know. So I really wanted to play it. And then they made the Orange Box. Bought that shit new, my boys! And I played it, and I really like all those games on there. Uh, Team Fortress 2 at the time I didn't have online, so it was a total, total waste. But, um... And then by the time I got online, the, the, the community was five guys talking to each other on the same team and then got pissed off when you killed them. Internet. But, um, haven't played it. I played the multiplayer. You know, seems like portal fun. Whatever. Uh, but I haven't played the single player. So I might make a video about that. I don't know. It's a little old now to talk about, but oh well, you know. Uh, the next thing I got the same day, I got it for five bucks, and that is... Pilot Wings! Da, 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 da. That's up the theme. Um, only reason I picked this up when it was $5, I need a new 3DS game because I have none. Um, by that, they have announced uh, Link to the Past 2, which I'm like, what? A sequel? But um, I need to get a 3DS game. Got this because hopefully this name you know. John Sean, uh, he is from John Sean, and he's also from Game Grumps. Um, was talking about this a long time ago, and I, I, I was interested, and I picked it up, and I played like five minutes of it. I need to pick it up again, because uh, I, I, I played it for like five minutes after midnight, and I had to go to work in the morning, so that was stupid. But I gotta play it again. I know it's just a relaxing little da 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 da. -da. That's not the theme. I had the theme ahead, and then I sang it. I am a fool. Um, but. 3DS game, it's always nice to get a new 3DS game, I guess, even when it's one of the oldest 3DS games. <laughs> and the last one. Um, this is the big, big, big one for this month. Um, yeah, it's it's the big one. Uh, I might want to throw something in here, so I'll hit say cut, and if we cut there, then I had to show you something. But if not, and I'm still talking to you, um, this is the big one. As I said, this is the big thing and a lot of people when I show you this might go okay whatever um, there was a group and I've actually did an unboxing of this but uh, there was a group called um, Operation Rainfall and at the time when I liked their Facebook page I was in the idea of getting games over here from Japan that would never come down here like at all and reasoning because I really want a game down here called Mother 3 uh, if anyone has heard of Earthbound it is the third game. And if you might go three, there's only one Earthbound game. Then you have some research to do, my friend. Because there's one on the NES, one on the Super Nintendo, and one on the Game Boy Advance. But I really want that game to come out. <coughs> Sorry. But the way to do that is, you know, connect with teams like this. And they wanted three RPGs to come out. One was called Xenoblade Chronicles, which I own. One was called The Last Story, which I own. And one was called... Pandora's Tower. Now, a lot of you, if you've subscribed to me and you've seen my other videos, you know that I did, and I talked about this game already. Uh, but I want to still talk about it a little bit, because it's it's a good game. Um, now, back when I did the, uh, the, the, the unboxing, I didn't play it naturally, because I was doing an unboxing. But, um, after playing, beating the first three or four dungeons, I believe it's three, well, towers in this case, I can say with, you know, without a shadow of a doubt, that this is one of the better Wii games. Um, out of the three, three games, I wouldn't put this at number one. I think Xenoblade Chronicles deserves a number one spot. 
this is definitely number two. Uh, last story I barely played because I just I couldn't get into it for some reason. But this game, if there is, if you want to play a Wii game, because uh, say you don't have the Wii U and you want to play a Wii game and you want to play an RPG on the Wii, but you want to play a game that's a little 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 RPG-ish, a little bit, you know, I don't know, God of War esque, and like Shadow of the Frickin' Colossus, then there you go. It's really really good. But Back when I did that unboxing video and I said those exact words, there's one thing I couldn't, I didn't say because I didn't play it. If you like Majora's Mask, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, this game, you're gonna, you're gonna want to die over it. Basically, you go to each tower is a temple. Basically, in each temple, you get to see right when you walk through the doors how many chains are in the temple. Usually, there's two. Sometimes there's one. I haven't seen three yet. So throughout the temple tower, you want to destroy the two chains. The two chains, one chain, three chain, will unlock the boss door. Then you fight the boss, then you bring the boss's uh, flesh to your girlfriend so she can get this curse taken from her. Here's the catch. There is a timer. And it, it makes the game so freaking stressful. And the only game that's ever felt like this has been Majora's Mask. Uh, because there's a little timer in the corner. And you can go, if you can find some flesh, you can give it to her, which will postpone it. But only boss flesh will make it so she will be fine for a while longer. It's just... So far, it's really good. Now, I'm playing this on the Wii U, which not doesn't upscale the game. But it looks quite nice. Uh, I haven't played it on the original Wii, so I don't know what it looks like. Uh, truthfully... There's, I, I've been playing with the uh, the Wii controller, and I, I really, really want to get a, a Pro controller, because it's annoying, but I don't know how this game would work with a controller, because you need to aim at the screen to do things with the whip, but I recommend this game. Truthfully, it is $39.99. Uh, I, I don't know if it's going to go up in price or if it's going to go down in price. Xenoblade Chronicles, sorry, Xenoblade Chronicles is over a $100 game. Last Story is only like a $30 game. I don't know what's going to happen to this one, if it's going to go up or go down. So if you have any interest at all from what I said or what anyone has said about this game, go buy it now because I, it might go rare and then you'll never have a chance to play it. And that's basically all I really want to say about that. And that basically concludes all the games I got. Uh, sorry, all the stuff I got that I want to show. Um, and as I said, there might be some cuts in this video. If there is, great. You got to see all my stuff and not just some of it that month. Uh, and I got to say, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, if you watch to the end, awesome. Uh, comment if you can. I... Either what you want to see me do, or just questions for me. Like, stuff like, uh, you know, hey, blah, 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 blah. And I'll probably answer, why not? And my voice is going, as I said, it probably would. Um, and I thank you for the people who have subscribed. You guys are awesome. And I thank the people who actually watch the videos I post out there. And that's awesome. And, yeah. Stay awesome.